I'm at the Peacock Gym here. I'm delighted to be joined by soon to be professional uh, amateur standout boxer Daniel Dubois, who's just recently signed with Frank Warren. How are you, Daniel? I'm oh, good. How about yourself? Very well. Not many people ask how we are behind the camera. No one really cares. So that's a good start already. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, obviously, you had the big BT Sport Box Nation press conference uh, recently in London, where you were sort of formally introduced as Frank Warren's latest uh, signing heavyweight uh, star. So um, yeah, it's been a, must have been a whirlwind few weeks for you. Yeah, it's been exciting, you know, busy all the time and for different press conferences and all. I love the interviews, I love I love it always, so I'm, it's just soaking it up, enjoying all the exposure and, yeah, appreciate it. So let's talk a little bit about um, your amateur background. Yeah. Um, obviously a lot of people know about your amateur background, for people that don't, yeah. just give me a summary of uh, what you accomplished in the amateurs. Well, um, I started off, you know, Basically, with the national schools championships, I won them twice, two-time national champion, two, two, two junior ABA titles and um, a couple of international tournaments, Brandenburg, Tama tournaments and uh, for England. And um, my final win as an amateur was the GB senior championships. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm assuming you had uh, the option of, you know, if you didn't turn pro, maybe look towards Tokyo. Why the decision to turn professional now? What was it that sort of swayed that decision for you? Um, well, really, my team around me, we saw that uh, the Olympics was the next cycle, next three, three and a half years, and by then I could be a world champion. Frank Warren, he offered me a good deal, and I just said, yeah, we'll go with it and improve as a professional fighter. Do you kind of seem the the sort of the re-rise, if that's even a term, of the heavyweight division, uh, it's more exciting now, especially here, than it has been for a long time. Uh, lots of good fights, lots of good heavyweights. We, we've got world champions ourselves. So do you look at the scene itself and think, you know, I want a bit of that, I want to be involved in that? Definitely. I want to, I want to be challenging myself against these guys and um, proving that I'm the best and obviously just taking it step by step and just... The heavyweight scene in England looks really good, you know. Dylan White, uh, a couple, there's a, quite a few other names out there, and it just it looks it looks really competitive and vibrant, and just I just can't wait to get involved in the mix. Do you look at some of these heavyweights and think, you know, the ones that have had you know 15, 16 fights, think, oh, well, I'd beat him. Yeah, of course. I always like to. I always think that. I always think that. I watch her like. I try to pick out the little, little, little weaknesses I can see, little mistakes, and I just um, try and analyse it as as best I can. Yeah. I will just say one thing: the, the more you do these interviews, you're going to have to learn not to sway, Daniel, because you're doing a little dance. I don't know if you realise you're doing a little no. thing like this. I know. When I'm on my feet, you need to sit me down. Just keep me, keep me still. No, it's okay. So, I mean, if we're talking about sort of the current heavyweights um, from the UK, uh, it, there's always been arguments over the last couple of years, you know, who's number one? Now, some people think it's still Tyson Fury, some people think it's Anthony Joshua, some people think David Hay. So, you know, who do you put as, you know, the best UK heavyweight? Well, the um, best UK heavyweight is the guy who's got the world title at the moment. I think that's um, probably AJ, Anthony Joshua. In my opinion. Yeah, listen, like I said it's a it's a it's a debate that goes about. Some people still see Fury because of what he done to Vladimir Klitschko over a, uh, well nearly a year and a half ago now, uh, still as number one. But we don't know what's going on with Fury, so I suppose it kind of maybe some people put him out of the picture. Yeah, yeah. People think that people have their own opinion. Uh, I can only give my own my own opinion on things. So that's my that's my perspective. Let's talk a little bit about your team. Obviously. Um, uh, Frank Warren, Martin and Tony Bowers. Uh, you believe that these are the right men to guide your career? Yeah, they're, they're very, very patient. They listen to what I have to say and they, they show me their, their own little things, their own techniques. And I'm, I'm working in the gym every day with them, just improving as a fighter. And yeah, they help me. Well, obviously, we know Frank Warren's track record of you know getting fighters where they need to get at the right time. So you're hoping that, you know, 
sooner rather than later you've sort of made that climb to the top? Of course, you know, um, I want to I wanna be successful. I want to I want a successful relationship with my coach, and my manager, and my, and my promoter. So, uh, in my opinion, Frank Warren is the best out there, and I want to I show him I'm the best fighter out there as well. What's the first target for you? Obviously, you haven't had a professional fight yet. You, you know, you don't make your debut until the 8th of April in Manchester. But, you know, if you're looking at targets, what is your sort of first target that you will set yourself that you want to accomplish? Is it the British title? Um, yeah, I want to go through the route. I want to win everything. Maybe Simon Area, Commonwealth, British title, all of them. You know, every title there is to win, I want to win it. I'm glad you said the Southern Area title because, yeah. you know, loads of people sort of, yeah. some people skip by that and don't, you know, no, really no, glance no, there. But no, I like no. the way you want it. You want to win all that. Get them all in. Yeah. Commonwealth, British, the lot. Southern Area, the lot. Yeah, I want to win them all. Just, uh, yeah, I can't mix any of them out, you know. Every title's a title. The title's a title. It's there to be won. Tell me two things about Daniel Dubois that no one knows. Two things. Um, uh, two things. Well, uh, I'm not saying no one knows, but I'm saying things that people might find interesting. Interesting. Well, Away from boxing, if you like. Okay. Well, um, I have, and I'll say it myself. I've, I've um, completed like uh, push-ups non-stop for three hours. Non-stop, as um, I say, when I was 10 years old and uh, won a world record at the time. It was about 60,000 press-ups I did. Um, uh, other than that, I, I can't think of too much. What does Daniel Dubois do when he's not boxing then? When I'm not boxing, um, just with my family, you know, at the moment, staying with my uh, my just the uh, people around me and just, uh, nothing really, just chill, sit back and chill. Okay, okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. The push-up, oh, okay, not yet, not yet, we'll get it out of you as your career progresses. Yeah. Uh, the push-up thing, though, yeah. I was doing more than that at a younger age, so I'm not really, I, I wasn't really impressed really with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to take on the Dubois versus Cassius push-up challenge, I'm down for it. Not, not today, because I ain't got the right yeah, clothes I'm ready on. For it. I'm ready today, you know. Yeah? If you want to get it all, we can get it all. Yeah? <laughs> no, we'll just keep doing push-ups and see who folds first. Yeah. I guarantee you it will not be me. No, nah, you're carrying too much weight on you. You wouldn't get past <laughs> one. You wouldn't get past one. Carrying too much weight. You can't diss me on my own <laughs> channel. You can't do it. You can't do it, Daniel. But, um, listen, we're looking forward to the 8th of April, and I'm sure you are too, because there is always anticipation about your first fight, the yeah. pro fight. Get that out of the way, and then you can really sort of push on with your career. Is that kind of how you look at it? Of course. Um, yeah, get, get, this, get, my, get it started, get the ball rolling, of course. That's, that's the main thing. Get the ball rolling, um, get past this first fight, uh, and uh, just, just blaze through my whole career. Just blaze through the, all the opponents. I could tell you're a little bit still reserved from the first time I interviewed you the other day to now. It's kind of getting a bit better, but I think as we go on, we're going to start to sort of get into Dubois. Yeah. And um, also, I'd like to shout, make a big shout out to um, a coach that's helped me a lot as an amateur. Um, was at the Dell Youth, Gary McGuinness. Gary McGuinness, if you're listening, I'm, I'm bigging you up, all right? <laughs> all right. That's it. Big up, Gary. Big up, Gary. Um, all right, Daniel, listen, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, giving us a little bit of your time today. And, uh, yeah, listen, best of luck. I'm sure we'll catch up with you again ahead of April the 8th. So, yeah, yeah let's see what all Dubois, Double D is all about. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll definitely be looking. Just doing my thing, really. What's the nickname? Got a nickname yet? Um, I've been... Uh, not really. I'll tell you what, if people are watching this, tweet Dan. What's your Twitter, Daniel? Uh, Daniel Dubois. Just okay, just Daniel Dubois, at Daniel Dubois. Tweet him some suggestions for what could be his nickname. Yeah, please. And then he might pick one and, you know, yeah. that'll be his nickname. Yeah, you guys are helping me out. I need, I need my fans. Just, just whatever you can think of, just send it out. Yeah. No problem. Coogan Cassius here with Daniel Dubois. Thank you very much. <laughs>